Hey guys, welcome to another programming lesson by Magic Monk Tutorials. Uh, today we're going to make a, a program that is sort of like a computer game where um, a random number between 1 to 100 will be generated by the program and you'll be able to guess what number it is by entering the number into the program and the program will give you a hint as to whether your number is correct or not and whether it's higher or lower than the actual number so as you can see it's a pretty simple program but um, by making this program you're gonna learn about um, how to declare variables and how to use the if statement which is very useful for programming so let's open up Visual Basic and let's do a quick recap of what you should be able to do already so if you open up the project that we worked on last lesson um, it was called training open up training.sln and you should see the program that we made up last lesson where um, so if you click play that's the program that you should be able to you should be able to uh, program already is just a few buttons that uh, changes the properties of other objects so the change color button changes the color of the form background color of the form and the change text button changes the text in the title label so once you are sure that you can do this then you can we can proceed to the next lesson um, so what we're gonna do is change a few things on this program so we're gonna change the title to guess the number game so I'm gonna change the text in my title to guess the number game and the first button I'm going to delete that and the second button where it says change text uh, I'm gonna change the name of my button to uh, guess guess button and on my button I'm gonna change the text to guess number okay so what number are we guessing so I'm going to create a text box where we can enter the number and I'm going to rename my uh, text box to uh, number box so I'm gonna have the uh, in a small case and I'm also going to change the uh, size of my font in the box just so people can see it better so I'm going to change the size 10 slightly bigger and I'm also going to create another button that says show number right, just in case I get tired of guessing um, so it's gonna the button is gonna be called show button and the text is going to be show number so in case you're still confused the name of the object is uh, the name that we use we make reference to when we're coding whereas the text property of the button is simply what shows up on top of the button as normal text um, and then I'm going to also have a 
a uh, label. So I'm going to have a label down the bottom here, bottom here, and the label is just going to be a message, a message label that will display messages of the game. So initially, it's just going to have nothing there. But uh, obviously, we're going to make use of it later on. Okay, so when the game starts, so double click on the form and you'll see the coding behind the game. So uh, we're going to delete all the coding that we had in the previous program. And the first thing we want in form one is we're going to declare some variables. So we're going to declare two variables. The first one is called guess number, and we're going to declare as an integer. So don't worry, I'll explain what all this means in a second. And I'm also going to declare another variable called correct number as integer. Okay, so what are variables? A variable has is basically a container where you can put inside the variable uh, whatever information you want. In this case, integer just means a number without decimal, without decimal points. So uh, basically it's just a simple number that we can store inside this container which has a name called guess number and the second container called correct number so the correct number is the compute is the computer generated number between 1 to 100 and the guess number variable is going to store whatever number that we type into the program Okay, so as soon as the form loads, so double click on the uh, form background and you'll get into this uh, <clears throat> subroutine here where you can type in inside this subroutine um, what you want the program to do as soon as it loads. So the first thing we're going to type in is randomize. And rather than going into detail about this function, basically it, this is just a function that you have to type in whenever you want to generate random numbers. Okay, so we're going to generate a random number and we're going to put it inside the correct number uh, variable and what we're going to do is we're going to generate a random number so by typing in RND this will generate a random number between 0 and 1 but since we want to generate it between 1 and 100 what we're going to do is firstly multiply it by 100 so that will generate a random number between uh, 0 and 100 and then we're gonna plus 1 sorry then we're gonna convert it into an integer because if you simply generate a random number between 0 and 1 it'll have decimal points so basically we multiply it by 100 then we're converting it into an integer which gets rid of all the uh, decimals and then we're going to plus 1 to it um, so basically this will give us a random number between 1 and 100 uh, if you're not sure about how this all works uh, you should look up a 
tutorial on generating random numbers uh, which there should be quite a few of them around but basically this will give us random number between uh, 1 to 100 and then uh, so that's what we want to do when the form loads okay the next we want to program is the show number button so double click on show number and inside the show button basically we want to program the message label to so it's called message label we want to make our message label display the program that we've just generated so message label dot text equals and basically it's going to show the number that we've just generated so correct number okay so let's just see if that works so when you click on guess number it doesn't do anything because we haven't programmed anything in but if you click show number it's gonna show the number we just generated which is 32 okay so now let's program in the guess number button so what this button is going to do is it's gonna store the uh, text from our text box which is called number box so it's going to store the number box the text inside our text box into the variable called guess number which we created uh, in the form so guess number equals uh, what was our text box name again number box so number box dot text so and uh, we're also gonna convert it into an integer and so that should convert whatever number we have entered into the guess number variable okay so now whatever we have entered inside the text box is stored in the guess number variable now we're going to use an if statement which says that if a condition is true then we're going to execute some code and if it's not true then we don't execute it so if the guess number variable is equal to the correct number then we want the program to change the message label text to congratulations you have guessed the correct number okay let's just see if that works so let's play let's play this program okay so let's show the number first it's 66 so if I type 66 and I type guess number it says congratulations you have guessed the correct number okay but hypothetically if I type in another random number it's not gonna tell me any hints which doesn't make it very useful so now that you have a understanding of how the if statement works we're going to try to use the else if statement so else if means if um, our condition is not true let's test another condition so the other condition could be if guess number is bigger than the correct number then we can make it say 
in our message label uh, your number is too big uh, because the number that you guessed is bigger than the correct number um, and the last condition so if either of the above two um, situation two conditions are not true then I guess the other possibility is um, your number is too small okay so let's try that so play the game play the, uh, debug the program so let's try typing in 50 guess the number it's too small so let's try 75 too big 60 too small 65 too big 63 too small 64 that must be the correct number congratulations you have guessed the correct number okay so hopefully you have enjoyed creating this game save it don't lose it and I'll see you again next time thanks for watching